Okay, I'm making a short video here of uh, showing off the Crete Roller Set stand that I created. Uh, this is actually part two. The first video uh, showed the creation and the initial test ride. This video, I just got done painting it. Tried to uh, make it look like he was riding on the side of a road. So you got the white stripe here and uh, sitting in place. So just a little overview of the paint job. The next thing I wanted to show off is the Unistrut frame that the roller set actually sits on. Uh, you can see this is just standard Unistrut. Uh, it's generally used in the construction industry for hanging stuff uh, in the ceiling, such as lights or whatnot. Uh, I simply bolted up a rectangle uh, frame here, and the roller set will actually sit on it. So I'll show that next. Here you can see the roller is actually sitting on the Unistrut frame. It's a Kreetler Challenger roller set with aluminum drums, plastic end caps. Uh, you can see I just actually made the frame so that the feet sit right in the strut. And the unistrut is actually suspended by these nuts in the end here. So you can see if I get down and get a side profile, the nut sits in the frame. And then there's a carriage bolt that goes into the nut to suspend it. Next thing I wanted to show is the underside of the stand so you can get an idea of what that looks like. There's a good amount of bracing in there since I have to be standing on it or sitting on it. I just want to give a little profile shot of that. The next step is to lower the stand onto the roller set. And it's simple as just lowering it down. The next step of the process is to put the carriage bolts into the holes that suspend the unit strut. So it's a 7 inch carriage bolt with an inch and a half fender washer on it to support the weight. And it simply drops into these holes and it's going to screw into the unit strut. By actually uh, adjusting the height of each bolt I can bring each corner of the base up or down. That way I can level the roller set since my floor in this area of the house isn't actually level. In this part of the video, I want to show off how good the leveling aspect of this works. If I put a level on here, hold it, you can see that right now the level set is pretty level. If I put a screwdriver in here and adjust this, you can see I'm bringing it out of level. So it actually works pretty well to level the, the roller set. Now that you've seen how my roller stand goes together, I thought I'd give a little overview of it all put together. See, one thing that I added that Kreetler didn't add is uh, some safety rollers on the edge there. That way if I'm riding and I start to roll off the rollers, I'll hit the caster wheels before I actually go off the edge. I've them in the back as well. Another thing I had to account for is when you raise and lower the rollers, the uh, band between the front and the back is going to come up and down. So I had to cut that notch out so the band can actually raise above the surface. The last thing I accounted for, they actually have a fan unit for this roller set as well. So I've notched the front so that that can get in there. looks like this. I had to add a little bit of cardboard to redirect the airflow up towards my face is since it's not quite down on the floor it was actually blowing on my legs and I didn't like that as much. I'm sure the next thing everybody wants to see is how well does it actually work. So, here you go. Actually feels quite stable. It's 
it's uh, pretty quiet. You have it mounted on a rubber floor, so that helps. Also, the uh, paint job on the stand actually gives quite a sensation of realism. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. It's definitely uh, stable. I don't feel like it's going to fall off. I don't feel any dipping based on the fact that it is suspended. stand and uh, maybe you might uh, try to build one of your own. So good luck with that.